today we will be doing a demonstration on candy corn cookies. Um, a very trending topic during this season, during this uh, trending item during this season. And so we just wanted to do a little demonstration to show you exactly how we're going to do that. Um, so let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is have um, different types of candy corn. Uh, we chose a semi-chocolate type um, candy corn. Candy corn is a mixture of um, what's called mellow um, sweetener and then they just harden it into this shape and so that's exactly what it is um, it's just a bunch of syrup and sugar that's hardened into a certain shape uh, people usually are not fans of candy corn uh, but in particular we did see uh, that it was really trending pretty high when results to cookies and kids really like them so we wanted to take this opportunity to show you and demonstrate exactly how we put this together so the first thing we're going to add is our butter. Um, we want to make sure the butter is about room temperature, soft, um, or some sort of softened butter. If it's not soft, you can put it in the microwave. And we want to put that in. Then we're going to add our egg. So just give the egg a little frag. And then we'll add that in. Add in our egg. Okay. Okay, so once we have our egg and butter in there, we want to combine the mix um, until it becomes in a dough form. We'll combine it. And see, your butter should be just like that. It should be, it should, it should fall right down as soon as you put the spoon or whatever you want to mix with. Now, normally we mix our dough um, with our hand, but we started off with the spoon. And we usually just want to get that butter intertwined in there. And as you can see, the dough is forming. The dough is starting to form, and that's exactly what you want to happen. Okay, everyone, and so this is how your dough should look. Now, we did not use, we made sure that butter, I actually thought the butter could have been a little bit more softer. But I'm glad that we didn't because this is how our dough came out. Um, and so then we have our spoon there and we're going to start making our cookies and forming them to go on our non-sticky cookie sheet. Um, like I said, you're not going to enter the candy corn yet. Um, you're going to bake the cookies halfway through for that 10 minutes that we talked about. And then you're going to add your candy corn in. And the reason why we're doing that is so that we don't have the candy corn melt down um, inside the batter. Okay, so as you can see, we are forming our cookies into little dough balls and we're putting on a non-cookie sticking, um, non-cookie sticking. <laughs> we are putting it on a non-stick cookie sheet, okay? And um, we are going to let these, like I said, we're going to let these cook for um, until about this, the edges, this, the sides of the edges form. And then when we see that they're halfway through, we're going to stop very brief um, and while they're still uh, uh, pretty hot. And we're going to add our candy corn in and we'll show you exactly what that looks like. Okay, so you want to make sure your oven is on 375. Um, we actually just finished our dough and we're going to put these in on 375 for about 10 minutes on a non-sticking cookie sheet. Okay, um, so make sure your oven is on 375. Usually cookies are baked between 375 and 400. We're choosing 375 because we're using an electric stove. You're going to add your candy corn in right at this point when they get to this level. They're not all the way done. And you're just going to add two or three in, like so. Ooh, they smell so good. Okay. You don't want to push down on the dough too much because you don't want them to go to the other side. You want them to stay right on top, like so. 
You don't want them to lose temperature either so um, that's why you want to do it pretty quickly and they don't have to be perfect and there you have it back in the oven 